Adolf Hitler devoted two chapters in his controversial book Mein Kampf to study and practice the art of propaganda. Following in his footsteps is China and its communist government led by none other than President Xi Jinping. A shocking report by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute has come out where the institute examined the operations of the United Front which Jinping had once described as his secret magic weapon which has spread its deadly tentacles around the world by infiltrating universities, parliaments, civil societies and even religious places. So what is the United Front? China uses the United Front to co-opt and neutralize sources of potential opposition to the policies and authority of the Chinese Communist Party inside the country as well as outside. Simply put, the United Front is a coalition of groups and individuals working towards the CCP's common goals against its enemies to pin them down. These operations are mostly covert and deceptive and they spread beyond China's borders. The report mentions that these secret Chinese operatives are on a mission to infiltrate and influence almost every aspect of Australian life from politics and business to the media. Earlier, we had reported how China hoarded billions of worth of medical equipment from Australia before the coronavirus reached the pandemic levels, all under the nose of Australian authorities. The Daegus don't have the legs to undertake these massive hoarding exercises. It is the United Front that pumps in the resources and the money. In the wake of coronavirus pandemic, which has alarmed nations across the globe about China's misadventures, Australia has been at the forefront fighting Beijing. The trade relations between Beijing and Canberra have deteriorated to new lows as China continues to strong arm the kangaroos. Now the Scott Morrison government is waking up to the threat of the United Front which has infested the country. The report stated, the Chinese Communist Party's attempts to interfere in diaspora communities, influence political systems and covertly access valuable and sensitive technology will only grow as tensions between China and countries around the world develop. Wang Yang, the fourth ranked member of the Politburo of CCP and one of Xi Jinping's closest aides, runs the United Front Work Department. The covert organization has been in existence for a long time but in a globalized world, the scope and scale of this surveillance machinery has evolved. Conventional wars are costly and more often than not, the results are not beneficial for any party. But using these silent assassins to infiltrate countries and change the policies and laws covertly is what modern day espionage looks like. Surely lots of countries try to spread influence abroad through soft power, government media or propaganda lobbying and even intelligence operations, but none have the scale and expanse as China's united front. And it's not only Australia that has been feeling the heat of these covert communist puppets, the United States is also infested by the rot of the united front. According to a Washington Post report, wealthy members of the CCP's political organs, including former Hong Kong chief executive Thung Chi Wa, oversee united front's work by throwing money at foreign institutions that are willing to tow Beijing's political line, including US think tanks and even media organizations. With media reports coming out about the menace of the United Front and its workers, the Republican Study Committee, a group of 150 Republican lawmakers on Wednesday, released a report that spelled out its national security strategy and called for sanctions on all top officials in the CCP's United Front Work Department. The reason Republican Study Committee spelled out a report is because the United Front has been hurting the American cause by infesting its institutions from inside. We had earlier reported how China spent millions of dollars to buy the media houses in America to tow its line. Buying out the foreign media encompasses in United Front's policy. In China Daily's disclosure submitted to the Justice Department for the period between November 2016 and April 2020, it has been revealed that CCP pushed in a whopping 19 million US dollars in the pockets of some major media houses of the US like the New York Times and the Washington Post. The United Front undertakes heavily resourced campaign to acquire sensitive US technologies and intellectual property through the secret agents who masquerade as students and workers and come here to study and work. US President Donald Trump as a security measure had banned certain Chinese students from studying in the country by issuing a proclamation last month. 
A Chinese professor who taught at the University of Texas was charged with stealing state-of-the-art technology from a Silicon Valley firm late last year. He had turned out to be a secret agent for Chinese tech major Huawei, which is blacklisted in the United States over security concerns. Confucius Institutes on dozens of U.S. campuses have long-standing and formal ties with the United Front Work Department. The FBI, Department of Homeland Security and Cybersecurity experts had warned in early May that Chinese hackers were trying to steal research on developing a vaccine against coronavirus. These hackers also come under the purview of the United Front. The menace of CCP's United Front existed before COVID-19 too but its growing threat must be curtailed after we have seen the Chinese influence over the world in the wake of a pandemic. Subsiding political and international borders, countries need to work together to curtail this demon that is faceless and shapeless, yet is staring right at us and inflicting harm on our nations more so than ever.